notes, this is a fresh SD card image that I put into the Raspberry Pi 2. I've got that right up there. I loaded the fresh image off of the openelect.tv site and I plugged in the uh, I've got the USB cable plugged in, I've got the HDMI cable plugged in and the Ethernet cable and we'll see what happens here. Okay, there we got a screen. I just had to change my input. Okay, we got English. I'll do next. And let's see, I want to change this because I might have a couple of these running. It won't really work if they're all the same names. Okay, since I have this plugged into my Sony TV, I'll call it Sony TV. I'll do done. And you can see I'm just using my Sony remote control. I haven't plugged in any infrared receiver. So I've got that. Wired connection. And it's picked up a DHCP address. That's good. I turn on SSH. We're working. Let's see if that's all on the screen here. There we go. So we go down next. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what the system is telling us here. Yeah, there we've got our our system name is in there. So we've got network, one connection. Let's go back. Let's take a look at system info. So we've got 675 free megs. This is a one gigabyte system. And there's our DNS. We've got video, and then here's the hardware. Okay, they've got the uh, CPU speed is. They set the default down actually lower. I think it's rated at 900 megahertz. So yeah, I'll have to go set some of these things up here. Let me show you the power. That's actually pretty promising here. Yeah, so here's the power USB detector is showing 5.14 volts and about 210 milliamps. Now this is running at 600 megahertz quad core. I'll have to see when I get it all set up what the relative power, but here's the USB right out of the TV set. This is USB plugged in there, and then the Raspberry Pi is plugged in. Just got the Ethernet cable, I've got HDMI, and then the USB micro cable over there for power. So that's pretty good.